Good morning. I am very pleased to be with you today to share together with the Minister of ICT and Innovation of the Republic of Rwanda in representation of uh, President Paul Kagame. Welcome, uh, it's a pleasure. I am also very happy to be accompanied by the co 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 Vice Chairs of the Commission, Hulin Shao and Audrey, Audrey Azule. Today we have the pleasure of welcome, welcoming two new members, Mrs. Henrietta Ford, welcome Henrietta, Executive Director of UNICEF, and Stephen Richard, CEO of Orange and GSMA Chairman. I also wish to extend a warm welcome to Stella Dabani Abrams, Minister of Communication from South Africa, who joined the Commission at the spring meeting. I take this opportunity to reiterate the message that bring us together for, door, for, more than, for more than nine years ago, which is that connecting the world population to internet, where to, 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 to the world population with internet, broadband, and as soon as possibly bring all, all, all the population to the digital culture. It is about empowering people who lack basic ICT skills with the means to participate in the digital society. As reflected in our State of Broadband Report 2019, meaningful universal connectivity is not just about infrastructure and supply side initiatives. It is also about thoughtful approach to demand side issues, meeting the needs and expectations of those who are not yet connected, especially with quality smartphones, while ensuring individuals who are already online continue to see value in continued, in, in continued participation. I believe, I believe that our recommendations contained in this uh, 2019 State of Broadband Report will contribute, contribute to ensuring a digital world without exclusions. They will make an impact by emphasizing, emphasizing the need to protect children online in national broadband plans, contribute to digital inclusion in the various sectors, and improve digital skills. To achieve our goals, we need to redouble our efforts. Very importantly, we need to create an adequate, an adequate environment for investment in broadband infrastructure, access, and use. I am very pleased that our agenda today includes a discussion on financing for sustainability and social good. Connectivity, the other, the other half, will be, will be and is our biggest challenge. I am looking forward to hearing from the leaders of the working groups in session three later this morning. A total of 26 specialized working groups were created by the Commission since the inception. These have made important recommendations in areas as diverse, as critical, as global access to, the, to education, bringing the digital gender gap, digital health, or digital entrepreneurship. I look forward to our discussions on where we do, where we go from here, and to, to your feedback to ensure we remain effective, impactful, and with strong outreach activities. We can remember nine years, a little near 10 years ago when we were talking about which is broadband, one mega, three megas. Uh, we remember when uh, the, the cost of uh, 56 kilobytes in dialogue was $19. 56 kilobytes, now it's 56 megabytes, less than $19. That's get down prices more than 1,000 times. That's uh, the difference uh, and, uh, and, and how things are going soon and faster. And we're now talking of 100 megas, 200 megas. And we are now looking also very clear that we have discussions 
about how to, con to give connectivity to everyone in the world, and now how we are moving with 5G, coming for 5G, now we are with 4G, but how we are connecting with wireless internet worldwide, how the price of the minute, we talk about on those times at the beginning of the minute, it was uh, prepared was like 50 cents per minute. Now, now it's unlimited expense, uh, uh, unlimited uh, uh, consumption for very low cost, less than one cent by, by sure. And how data begin to be used, first messages, then they came uh, Blackberry, and then uh, we are today talking about growing of, uh, of uh, the consumption of data with video getting uh, near doubling less than two years, less than two every two years. That's completely a different situation, and we are just uh, waiting it to, to, to come uh, faster and to, and, and, and like I was telling before, our big challenge is the connectivity of all, of all the people. But it's not only a problem to, to, to build networks. It's, that's the main part, it's a main part of the problem, to build networks. But uh, people need also, uh, and that's uh, the, ch the challenge, to, to buy the handset that they are going down, but still is not easy, affordable. But not only, only the handset, but to pay it periodically. So the challenge is not the network, mainly is the possibility for them to have a handset and to have uh, 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 the money to pay periodically the consumption by uh, postpaid or prepaid. Uh, uh, well, and as we move to celebrate our 10th anniversary next year, let us discuss in this meeting our strategy for our work ahead. Thank you very much, and thank you for all the work you have done in those these 10 years. Thank you.